Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to export the S parameter data from your VNA to Excel. So this is the export S11 result, okay, and you can plot it compare with your simulation result just like this. So you have like simulated result and measured result. Okay, so how to export the data? So I will show you step by step. First, you can just connect your to your VNA using TeamViewer. You can install the TeamViewer in your VNA, and then you can remove it. So you can click on Save, and then go to Save and Other, and then click on Save Data. So save it, and then let's say I have like measured data. We send two. Okay. Now I have export the data, so I can just go to open the data here, which version 2, just open. Okay, so we have the data now. Okay, so this is the data for the S11. Then I will show you the step how to plot the graph together with the simulated result. So just click on here, just open the simulated result. Okay. Okay, so now I have like simulation result here, and then we have another one inside like S11 measured result. Okay, okay, so just click on equal and then go to the measured result here. Okay, now you have the measurement result, so you can just plot the graph using Excel. So just click on here, plot the line and then double click it, click select data. So just add, let's say this one is simulated. Okay, so just click on your simulation result here and then control shift, just press down. Okay, now you have like simulated result here and add another one will be like your measurement result. Okay, so this is measured result. Okay, just click on here and then control shift, put down. Okay, and then here will be your frequency, your S axis. Okay, then press OK. Then we can go to check our graph here. Okay, here will be our result. And you can just like go to like quick layout and show your graph. Something like this. Okay, so you have like simulated and measured result and you can compare it. So when you save the result, right, you need to careful with your format. So usually we will choose like display format. That means uh, what is the format that you display here in VNA. Then they will save the data according to the format they have displayed here. Okay, or you can choose like log angle, linear magnitude angle, and real and imagery. So if you choose auto, then they will automatically choose either one of the format. Okay, so it's better that what is displayed here, then you choose display format. And single trace or display trace, okay, so you also can choose from here, but let's say this one is just a single trace here so you can just click on single trace although the file is csv file we also you can open it using notepad so we can just turn on and then open with notepad so it's quite easy then you can just view your result okay so just now we have like mentioned like we just save the trace and display what the format here right so we only have get like as one one if you want to have like together with the angle face here okay so we need to save to another format so let me show you so we can save it to another format is like here okay lock and lock magnitude and angle okay so this one is like save it then we also can open the result and check it so the measure tree we can open using notepad okay so here is the result with db and degree Okay, so if you want to save for like linear or real part imagery part, we can just like save to real part imagery part here. Then we change the file name to 
form. Okay, so we just open it. Okay, here is our result. Okay, so this is a real part and imaginary part. Okay, so let's say if you want to check our result just now, the linear and imagery, we can just go to like, we go to format here, then we change it to real part. Okay, let's say we check on real part, we put on marker, and then we, let's go for like starting here. So 10 megahertz will be, so this one is moving, right? So we can just like trigger, hold it. Okay, once we hold it, the they are not continuous measuring. So we can just save again the result. Okay. Okay, version number five. And then it's real part imagery. Then we save it. Then we open it here. Okay, using notepad. So we just compare the result here. So it's 0 0.17089. Okay, so it's it's milli here, the unit. Okay, so it's 0 0.17089. Okay, so how about we check on imagery? We can just click on format and then click on imagery. So it's negative 1.48. So let's open it. It's negative 0 0.00148. Okay, mini. So that's all for how to export your result. Okay, using save data here, or you can save the screen, you can save the picture. So let's say I save the measured picture. Ensure it. Data. So we can just like open it as well. So this is the measure the result. Okay guys, so that's all to how to compare your measure and simulated result.